Alright guys, today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I got a suggestion from L.B. Noson, who has told me to test a couple of unknown tools from Malwarebytes that aren't Malwarebytes anti-malware. Kind of interesting, so let's take a look at the first one. And I'm not really sure when these were made. And I haven't really tested them yet, so I'm going to give you my honest opinion, what I think about them. How they could be improved, you know, the basic stuff. So the first one is called Startup Light, and it advertises itself as a really easy way to remove a lot of the startup garbage in Windows. So you just Google Startup Light, and I'll put a link in the description for it, but. You go to Malwarebytes' site, it's a direct download, 199 kilobytes, that's pretty small. So we'll put it on the desktop. And now we need to, uh, we need to get some more startup entries so we can see how well this works. Because we can always just open msconfig and see that all oh, that's there. We need more bloat. Let's get iTunes bloat it up alright so now we have iTunes and Apple everything let's see let's make sure and I thought there'd be more maybe if I run Chrome forget it Anyway, that's what's there. There's all the services. So let's try out Startup Light from Malwarebytes. So you run it, and this is all we have is the Java updater. Hmm. Re enable disabled items. Huh. So I'm trying to figure out what it's actually doing. I think what it's doing is scanning all of the startup items and it's choosing the useless ones. And it sees Java and it's telling me that I need to check Java's site. Well, where's the rest of my useless programs? Re-enable disabled items. Like, do I really need Apple Push and Adobe Reader? What is this? Well, let's see if it works. Okay, so we ran it. Windows doesn't like the way it exited, but that's okay. No unnecessary startup items found. So this is about, quote, unnecessary. But what I think is unnecessary is a lot more than what Malwarebytes might think is unnecessary. So I can see this having a very good use on, let's say somebody who is trying to clean up a computer and isn't sure what really needs to be disabled. You could run this and it'll pick up it seems like a lot of the most useless stuff. Like, there's probably people that use iTunes and use Apple Push and all that garbage. But, if you disabled it, they wouldn't be very happy about it. But everybody's annoyed by Java. I don't even have it installed and I don't like it. So, Malwarebytes Startup Lite. It's pretty useful if you don't know what you're doing. And... Now it's time to check the other tool I was asked to test. It's called Malwarebytes Chameleon, and it is a little bit more useful. So we'll just tab over to this uh, virtual machine here. Resume it. All right. So we've got, what do we have running here? Security Shield is running in this VM. 
and it blocks programs. Very annoying, makes it much harder to remove anything. However, if you use this uh, Malwarebytes Chameleon, you are able to run every, or you're able to start Malwarebytes. It's sort of like R-Kill, but for Malwarebytes. At least that's what I've read. This thing needs to stop. It doesn't do that one thing that I wanted it to. Well, it doesn't matter. It'll let you run that. So let's go to Google. Because I don't remember the address. Oh, shit. That's really annoying. I didn't expect that to happen. Damn it. Let's, uh... Can we kill the process? I have a better idea. Let's boot into safe mode. Because I don't believe this rogue runs in safe mode, we can save it to the desktop and show it running. Alright, so we are back into Windows. We are waiting for... Oh, there it is. Security shield. Get it out of the way. Make sure everything is blocked. Alright. Get that blocked. Solitaire is still active. I think we have to wait a few minutes for it to start blocking everything. So. Come on. It'll start doing it in a minute. We'll wait it out. I think it's after the scan finishes. So we'll continue unprotected, and then... That's not doing anything for me. Task manager. Harmful software detected, continue unprotected. Okay, how about Solitaire? There we go. Okay, so now it's blocking programs. You can close that. Open the Malwarebytes Chameleon folder. Let's try to open the help file, and it doesn't let us. Let's try Firefox.com. Doesn't work. Firefox.exe. Nothing. Firefox.pif. Nope. Firefox.scr. No. iExplore.exe. No. MBAMChameleon.exe. Or dot com. No. MBAMChameleon.exe. No. MBAMChameleon.pif. Well, pif. Come on. No pifs. How do I get this out of the way? Turn on. Pain in the ass. mbamchameleon.scr. No. Run dll32.exe. No. svchost.exe. No. I don't have any faith. winlogon.exe. No. So none of those have worked for this specific rogue. Let's try my theory of csrss.exe. Not even that, because it executes something called conhost. So it's not really as good as rkill, which will run all of the time, unfortunately. And both of these programs, Startup Light and Chameleon, not a lot of people have heard of them, really. And that's probably for good reason, because Chameleon seems like it doesn't work, and Startup Light really... There's not a lot you can really do with it. It sort of detects, based on its own list, what it considers to be useless and unnecessary. But it doesn't let me decide what's useless and unnecessary. Although, all it is is a separate interface for um, msconfig. So they're not 
extremely useful programs. They're sort of neat to look at, but in terms of effectiveness, they're they're just not there yet. So I really can't recommend using MBAM Chameleon because it doesn't work. I would rather have R kill and then run malware bytes anti malware, which is you know matured and so much better than this. So I'm going to try to download R kill and remove this. Okay, change of plan. Um, initially, I said I was going to try to download R kill and malwarebytes anti malware to remove this uh, security shield. But what I'm going to do is try to run Malwarebytes Chameleon in safe mode to see what it looks like when it has a chance to run. Uh, maybe I didn't give it a fair chance because of I just use it on one piece of malware. But, I mean, if, if I recommend it, I want it to work on everything. It, it's not for everybody at this point. So, let's give it a try. Okay, so it opens a, I suppose, command prompt window, prompts me to enter a key. So now it is trying to install some kind of driver? What? Now it is downloading Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, and it is doing its thing. And the speech I made earlier, I have to take it back a little bit, because this program does something very, very interesting. It's a web installer for Malwarebytes. So instead of downloading the full executable from, like, CNET or something, what you do is you download this, you unzip it, you run one of these uh, executables, and Malwarebytes will download for you. All on its own. And now it's going to kill the malicious processes. Maybe it should have done that before. Very interesting program, however, I don't like the way it's set up right now. So, it is trying to kill malicious processes, but it's taking a very long time. But now Malwarebytes Anti-Malware is downloaded, which is very, very convenient. Uh, of course, updated, ready to go, do the quick scan and it's off. And it's detecting the file. So, uh, before the scan finishes, I want to go ahead and wrap this video up now for the second time. Start Malwarebytes Startup Lite. It will remove, quote, unnecessary programs from your startup. Uh, if you're any kind of power user, as they're described, you won't like it because it's really just an extra interface for MS config. It won't let you choose what you think is unnecessary or not, and I, I would have no use for it. Malwarebytes Chameleon, very interesting program. It's trying to act like Arkill from Malwarebytes, but it doesn't really do a good job at stopping anything. It gets blocked by different malware. However, it is a web installer for Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, which is very convenient. So, it's sort of an interesting program. I'd much rather have R-Kill and have it actually, you know, being able to stop pretty much any kind of malware. So, show results. There it all is. We'll remove selected. Reboot. Uh, I have links in the descriptions in the description for both programs. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully we'll see you soon.